Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of My Friendly Neighborhood. Now, at the end of the last video, we got down to this basement area, down this slide, which had a uh, manhole cover at the top saying Ray on it. So I guess Ray is the new character in the depths of this basement. It's a very uh, leaky basement. We're going to be continuing through uh, this area in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's continue our playthrough of My Friendly Neighborhood. ABCs, one, two, three. Don't know what this puppet's called. She seems very happy. Oh, so here we go, Ray, the door for his uh, his domain. Oh, little newspaper there. There's Ricky. Oh dear, oh my, you seem to be stranded in the basement. Yep. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? Down here's much more intriguingly musty. Unrelated, how do you feel about blood force head trauma? What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Oh, great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. <laughs> Look, I gotta go... Wash my hair. <laughs> I love Ricky, he's so funny. So weird and just quirky. Gordon doesn't appreciate him enough, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so we got some ammo, that's good. Also a newspaper. It says War is over. The City Tribune, Friday, February 4th, 1972. War is over. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent called for War of Horrors, the conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main dock were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate these horrors. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room, due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. So I'm guessing this is like, kind of referencing the Vietnam War, but not actually using the name of that war. Um, I don't know where to go. We could try this way. Oh God. Right, this is eerie. This does not look nice. Um, nothing that we can check in those. Right, this is sinister, guys. It's very, very dark. Oh, we still need the right key to get into here. It's like a diamond-shaped key. I'm just going to sneak around here. Don't mind me. I think the layout's changed a little bit from the demo. I haven't played the demo in a long time, so maybe I'm just misremembering here. Oh, the shotgun! I'll have that. The novelist. <laughs> it fires book pieces out. Nice. Let's get writing. Sweet. Yeah, let's get writing, baby. Reload. Okay. What's this? E inspect. The novelist. Hank's inventor diary. So Hank was the one that made all these weapons. April 16th, 1974. I was hanging around to the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Alright. see, can we get any more ammo from uh, these drawers? We've got some pistol ammo. I call it a pistol. It's like a roller dex gun. Studio rules. Be friendly, keep quiet. Guests are not permitted. Neighbours, avoid equipment, no swearing, cables, wires and cords. You can read this if you want, guys. There's a lot of dialogue there, a lot of text, I should say. But there are the studio rules. I'm going to pause and read that. I'm also going to check through all of these drawers. I want to be able to save the game as well, because I haven't been able to save um, 
since last episode, actually. I've been just continuing my playthrough. If I die, I have to go all the way back, I think. What's through here? It's locked from the other side. Okay, so we can't do any more this way. Can we only have one bullet in the chamber at once? Yeah, we can. All right, that's not so great. All right, he's just banging his head, so we're gonna leave him doing that. We need to get up there somehow. Oh my god. I'm gonna see if I can sneak round. Hey, uh... Should I shoot you? No! I'm taping you up. You can stay taped up. Alright, what's in here? Alright, we've got a, got a room here. Inspect. Pirate's Cove Review. This is from the City Tribune as well, from 1973. Puppets Pirate Cove, A Triumph of a Family by Richard Lightsbury. He's a critic. He gave it 4 out of 5 stars. As for my friendly neighbourhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gertzwald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theatre in a big way that both children and adults can appreciate. Plot centres around a young lad named Clark, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of his ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea friend Ricky to continue on E4. So, yeah, we didn't get to read the rest of that. Let's have a look. What's in here? Anything? Nope. Got a picture. Ooh, ammo. Nothing in there? Okay. A tape, I'll take it. And health. Do we need that? Nope. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, they're kind of screwed up. I'll leave that well alone. Guitar. Ooh. Got something here. Don't know what that is. Oh! Okay. You just fell out the vents. Kind of made me jump. Well, he's not getting up again. Inspect. That's locked, so we need something to open that. Okay, guys. I think we've got something useful from here, so we'll go back. Oh, I think this might be Ray as well. We fixed it. And that's Ray at the bottom. At least we've tied this one up. She can't get us anymore. That's locked. We need something to cut through there. Hmm key for that. We've got to remember which doors are locked to us and then when we get the key we'll remember where to come back to. This room is... Oh my god, what is that? What the heck? Is that a giant puppet there? Maybe. I'm not going to hang around to find out though. See, I vaguely remember this area. I might actually be able to fly through this stage quite quickly. Uh, I won't race through it. I want to take my time and enjoy the game but what I mean is I kind of have an idea of where I'm going, I think. Hey, um, I'm probably going to tie this one up as well, because I think we have to come through here quite a lot. Oh, can we do anything with this? Nope. It's a weird little mouse. My friendly neighborhood. Alright, I'm going to bash this one. I'm also going to tape her as well. Because I feel like we're going to keep coming back through this area. So good to have them taped up. Yeah, there's mice everywhere. I don't know what we do with the mice. What the heck is that sound? Hey! Who's there? Oh god. That must be Ray. We fixed it. Let's uh, turn on the power. Oh! oh. Jeez, that gave me a scare. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I think it was Ray. Um, we've got an episode script here, Ray's Workshop Day. As Stevie and Ricky enter, Ray's workshop is overflowing with enormous piles of sewage. Ray, where are you, says Stevie. Ray emerges from behind a large pile of sludge slowly, his eyes downcast. Ray, what gives? Everyone's sinks are overflowing, all the drains are clogged up with junk. Ray growls half-heartedly. 
Stevie says, I see. Someone made fun of your plumbing and now you're too embarrassed to keep working. Ray whimpers and nods. A pipe rattles and groans, spewing more gunk out onto the growing pile. Ricky says, Ray, if we don't get this cleared up soon, isn't the sewer just going to blow up and destroy the entire city? And then Stevie says, Ray, sometimes people make fun of us even when we're doing the right thing. That's just how people are, but you can't let them tell you how to be friendly. I wonder if the puppets like revolted or something, because they thought, felt like the laughter of the people was, you know, people mocking them, and they went kind of like insane or something. Ooh, inspect. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> hey, power source, nice. So now we can take that. Oh, shoot. What's happening? What's happening? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Screw you. To, to our, our... Screw you. Let's be excellent. I'm running. Let's be excellent. I'm running. Let's be excellent. I'm running. Where are we starting? I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Oh no, Ray's active. Look, he's there. Hello. So, am I allowed to go past you? Maybe I have to shoot him. Yeah, you have to shoot him. He goes back inside, and that's all the waste that was spewing out that was referenced in the script. He hasn't been doing his job very well. All right, here we go, guys. We got a note. Punch card memo to all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the free terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Okay. Ah, so... We've put the device in there. But I don't know what combination we need. Just gotta open this door here. Yeah, I remember this puzzle vaguely, guys, from the demo. So, this one is circle to number seven. I think we have to kind of work out what the combinations would be. So, is it three, ten, and then seven, maybe? I'll uh, I'll check back in a second. I think there's a save point through here. Oh, also got something we can unlock there. And some health. And some coins. Yay! Okay, cool. Wait. Yeah, let's head upstairs. Ricky with friends. Hey, a map. I'll take it. The basement map. Oh, okay. So, what does this mean? So, square equals plus two. Triangle minus one. Circle plus six. Oh, okay. Alright. We're also going to save. There we go. We've got the game saved. That's what I wanted. Now we can proceed. But proceed with caution. It says, uh oh, keep door locked, please. Well, somebody failed at their job. Okay, so let's work this out, guys. So, got a three, a ten, and I think that says seven. It's crossed out, but it says seven. So, I think what we have to try and do is get this clock to be on three, this one on ten, and this one on seven. And then I think the shapes, we have like what they represent, don't we? So, we have to do a bit of math here. So, we know that square is plus two. Triangle is minus one. So, square, square, triangle. That would be four. Minus one, which would be three. So, if we pull this, we get a punch card. So, if we go over to um, here, put the punch card in. Let's see if this works. Yes, it worked. Okay, so that's on the right time, I think. Now we need to do 10. So we do... Maybe 6, 2, 2. Because then that will give us, I think, 10. Uh, let's see if this works. That has. And now we want 7. So what would 7 be? 
Seven would be six plus two minus one. I think that's going to be seven. Let's see if this works, guys. If this uh, if this last one works, the door should open, I think. But it needs to land on seven. Yes. I think that's worked. It has. It's opened. Hurrah. All right. We should have saved after that puzzle, to be honest. Oh, wow. We're going down into the mine now. Wow. wonder how deep this goes. <laughs> All of his New York accent is brilliant. I wish I could do the New York accent, but I can't. Uh-oh. Shh. And there's a landslide there. Yeah, this has changed a lot since the demo this stage because it's just had a lot of detail put to it. Oh! There's a lot of puppets in here, guys. Um, what do we even do here, man? I'm just going to bash this one. Ah! No! Get off me! Back, back, back! Okay, that was bad. Alright, we took him down. But uh, it didn't go very smoothly. I'm going to have to probably shoot. It would be a, bit, a lot better if I use the gun to shoot. Don't think we need to take her down because... Can we even shoot these things, by the way? Oh, we can. I feel really bad now. Oh, it's okay. Sorry about that, little fella. I didn't realise I could actually shoot you. Yeah, I think we'll be able to always loop around this one, so I'm not going to worry about, like, taping her up. I want to save our tape. But the other one was, like, right in our way, so... Okay, uh, where are we now? We've got another lockbox. We've got to remember where all these lockboxes are. Oh, nice. Take that stuff. Gimme, gimme. Alright, this looks like this is where we're going to get the key from because it's got one of the, uh, the triangle symbols on it. We can go through the exit. We can go through here. Hmm. Where's the exit lead? Ooh, another save room. And another note, letter to the editor. This is again the City Tribune, this time it's from June 1975. Letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighbourhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals of that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, you always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if somebody takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can, so I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous, self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on, she'll be watching something else. So not a happy parent there, not happy with the tone of the show. What do you have in here? We've got some ammo. Anything else? Nope, just some soap. We can't use that right now. I like all of the um, different lockers having like their own unique things in them. That's like amazing attention to detail. We can go through here as well. Ooh. I don't know which way we want to go. This is kind of crazy. Oh my god. Anyone up there? Is that you, Ray? Just squeezing through those pipes? I'm going to go this way, guys. I'm going to see where this leads. Oh, that's locked. We won't be able to get through that door yet. I seem to remember this way leads to, like, a boat or something. They've changed the layout of this level since the demo a bit, though, I think. Warning, keep out. See, I think this is all different. Yeah, we've got, like, a lockbox here. Where does this go? Oh no, this does go to the boat still. It's just a different like route to it. Oh, look at the little mascot in there. George, it says as well. So yeah, we can take the boat. I think that takes us back to the start of the stage, but I'm not going to actually do that right now, guys, because um, I want to go and explore through that other doorway we missed. So I'll probably cut back to when I get back there. Oh, we got a... We got a body. And a mouse. Please don't come to life. That's locked with an electronic lock. Oh! Hello! Strange kind of breaker box. 
So I think we need to find plugs for that. And that's locked as well. Okay. So this is a breaker note. To everyone. Someone keeps taking the breakers that you used to open these doors, so I put them in the lockboxes around the basement. Ah, so that's what they're for. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janitor Hank. It says it's Ray there. Did Janitor Hank become Ray? Oh no, he's saying it's Ray that's taking them. Okay, I get it. So Ray was taking everything. We got the key though for the lockboxes, so now we just need to remember like where they all were. Now we just saw one, I think, round here. And through the door, so we're going to get that one first. It was, I think, through here. Oh my god, of course there's puppets here now. Go away! Hmm. I'm running, guys. I'm running. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Leave me alone. Our, our He's coming for I us. Ah. When I Leave us alone. Crazy Norm puppet. <laughs> okay. We made it. We made it into here. I think this is where one of the boxes were. Yes. So here we go. This is the first one. And I think probably the easiest thing to do is to head back to the start using this boat and just make our way back through the level. I like this little speedboat, it's cool. Problem is we're going to respawn everybody by doing this. This is a heal station. I am on caution, but I'm not going to heal right now. That could be a mistake. It's unlocked! Hey, It's definitely very Resident Evil the way it kind of, um, the level opens up. I like it a lot. I think the X's actually on our map mark where we need to go to get these different, um, fuses. We can see where one is. Actually, I remember it was where that puppet fell down from the ceiling. And I'm glad that we tied up the girl puppet over here. How you doing? You okay? She's just babbling to herself. She's fine. Oh no, I knew he would come to life. Get back. Right, I'm leaving you because I don't think we're ever going to come back into this room. That's number two. Excellent. So we've got two fuses now, guys. I just got to remember where to go now. I think... Probably this way. Oh no, Ray is there. Can I just drop down this way? Yes, I can. Awesome. Ha uh ha. -huh. Screw you, Ray. How close can I get to you? He says, Ray. I'm not getting any closer. Screw that. He gets really agitated when you get close to him. That's amazing. I'm just gonna, like, go around here. Please don't show up in the pipe because that'll make me jump out of my skin. Let's check our map now. So we are here. There's one actually nearby. There's a fuse round here. So we go through here. Open the door. A hey, fuse. This is the one for the end. Oh, there's no room in our box. We're going to have to store some items, guys. But luckily, we're in the room where we can store items. So let's have a look. What do we not need anymore? Or for the time being. Probably store a tape, so we'll stash that. Um, I could stash these keys for now, I guess. And I could stash one of these. In fact, I could use that. That would free up some space. We move this over here and move this over here. The only problem is it's sometimes hard to tell like which spaces you're using up with this stuff. We probably don't need this uh, card anymore either. It's got a tick. I think that means we fully used it, so we'll stash that. Uh, and then move some of this stuff about. Sweet. Okay, we're done, I think. Now, I'm not going to save it yet. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. We're going to take this. And I think we've only got one more to get now. I think there's four, and I know where the last one is. It's through here. And it's in the big room with all the puppets. Now you're already Final one is just up here. 
run. Let's be excellent. Yeah, let's be excellent. I agree. Excellent means no hands on me. No touching. All right, we're going up here. Open up. Hey. All right, we've got all the fuses, guys. I think we can crack this now. So what I'll probably do is go and crack this, and then maybe it's a good time to save, I reckon. Is that right? Oh man, we've got to get we got to look at our notes, guys. Ah, here we go. So this is the order we need. So it's this one first, then the diamond, heart and the spade. Oh. The right hand door unlocked. Hey, nice. There must be a combination for the other side as well. I Okay, this is weird. This definitely wasn't in the demo. We've got a, a room full of statues. Can we have this? Yep. Now, no one's going to burst in and attack us, right? Ooh, shotgun ammo. I'll take that and some health. We've got a little cute plushie. That's uh, it's pretty adorable. A cardboard penthouse. This must have been what uh, the, uh, the building was called or something. Studio rules, no food near equipment. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Ooh, bolt cutters. We need bolt cutters, guys. Oh, we got the bolt cutters. We just got them, didn't we? How unobservant of me. We've got a little boat then. So where's this boat going to go, I wonder? Will this take us back to the start of the stage as well, or is this going to take us somewhere else? Is this... Where are we now? It's unlocked. Hmm. Oh yeah, we are at the start. Okay, this is good. Because we actually need to be here, guys. We need to go through that door and use the bolt cutters, I think. On the other place that we could use them. Be gone, Ray. Be gone. Because there's a place down here somewhere. Oh my god. Alright. No! <laughs> Screw you. Sometimes you just gotta use a shotgun. Took the damage to our health, but what the hey. It must be this way somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, great. So we can now unlock this. Hey. Anything down here? Ooh, another secret, guys. That's two secrets we got now. Two secret tapes. One in each level. Anything in there, no? This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. Okay, well we made it to the elevator. And up we go. I think that's another stage done. Feels good to be out the basement, right? Oh my god, we're in the studios now, guys. The My Friendly Neighborhood Studios. Alright guys, well I think this is probably a good place to end it. Um... I don't have a map for this stage. I want to save my game, but I do not have a map currently. Anyway, I'm going to continue on the next episode from this point. So if you have been enjoying this playthrough, I've really been enjoying the game so far. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications. As soon as the next episode drops, you'll be notified. It could come today, could come tomorrow. I'm going to be uploading several of these per day because I'm really enjoying this game so far. And I'm just going to get the episodes out there. So if you have enjoyed today's video, appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you all for part 3 of My Friendly Neighbourhood very soon.